Thanks a lot for staying with us. We continue with the news. 760 bags of 25 kilograms of millimil laden in trucks and taxis destined for the neighboring Malawi have been impounded in Chipata by the Zambia National Service ZNS in the last seven days. The rampant smuggling of millimil has caused a serious, serious shortage of the commodity, resulting in two escalating prices of millimil. Milling, milling companies are overwhelmed with the demand of millimil in the city. Some milling companies say Malawians are using unpatriotic Zambians to buy milimu and they get commission after successful delivery of the commodity. Milimu has Milimu has a lucrative and attractive market in Malawi of between 300 kwacha and 320 kwacha. Government has placed Zambia National Service officers in the border areas to control the illegal export of maize grain and milimu into the neighboring Malawi. Shortage of milimil continues to hit many parts of Zambia. Worst scenarios in the border districts. In Chipata City, people are fighting for milimil in chain stores and markets. This is happening in Sparta just right now. People are fighting for milimil. The president must, must work hard, guys. Residents are feeling the impact. With the minimum production of between 4,500 Many smuggled this commodity into the neighboring Malawi. Mailing companies feel strong control measures could normalize the situation. If the government or let's say the security agencies control, in a matter of days, just two, three days, the situation will normalize. And once the situation normalizes, the prices will come down. Because there'll be, there won't be that demand. You know, the prices are affected by demand, supply and demand. The moment there's a lot of uh, a lot of millimeters, the prices will come down. They have to control the uh, on Malawi Road. They have to block the access unless he's got an export permit. You don't allow it to go, and automatically the prices will come down. You know. Patriotism from our citizens. We are being unpatriotic to our Zambian brothers and sisters by encouraging millimeter going cross border. This is what is causing the shortage at large. We stop this cross-border movement. I think we cannot uh, have this. Government has placed suddenness officers in strategic points to keep the smuggling of the meal. From FRA, no maize has been smuggled. The private buyers who bought the maize is the maize, which was first, they were given export permits, and these export permits have been exhausted, no further export payments have been given. But we hope and pray if they still have maize stocks in their sheds, they can still come forward and present their case. In a period of seven days, 760 bags by 25 kgs laden in trucks and taxis destined for Malawi have been impounded. Samo, Sylvester Kwawe, Daman News. Chipata. President Harende Hichilema has warned mining companies, especially in Lofanyama district, to prioritize local people for jobs. President Hichilema says he has received the information that local people are not benefiting from the mining firms as the workforce is imported. The head of state has further called for serious investment in farming as Lofanyama has.